Today we're going to be discussing angulation and x-ray positioning. So right here is our angulation guide. If a student is coming in, they have no idea with x-rays what angle to put the x-ray head at. We have to have a starting ground. Right here is a zero. Can you see that? That's our starting ground. If we're going to the positive angulation, the, the x-ray head is pointing down, okay? If we're going into the negative angulation, the x-ray is pointing up. To help find the positioning so you have a starting ground. Everybody's face is different. We got round faces, we got small faces, but in angulation, we have to have a starting ground. Where do we even start at, right? I want you all to learn this little song to get the upper angulation. 20, 30, 45, 40, 20, 30, 45, 40. I'm talking about my angulation here. There's my 20. There's my 30. There's my 45. And I'm coming back up to my 40. That's my starting ground. So we are going to have Hua here help us demonstrate with film in her mouth where to start at the angulation. Um, there's a upside and a downside. Um, on the upside, you'll see the dimple. We always want the dimple facing out. So make it a dimple, not a pimple. <laughs> Put, this is your snap array. When we've learned this about film positioning, we're placing the pimple or the dimple towards us. Putting it in the film holder, that's how the film holder will look, okay? So I'm gonna go with my molar shot. My positioning for the molar shot is at a plus 20. What's our song? 20, 30, 45, 40. So we'll go to 20. We have to have a starting ground. I'm using the line of the x-ray head here with my 20 degree angle. I'm gonna position my film. I'm gonna go over the molars and by together, that is covering my molars. Here's my molars right here. This should be around my second molar in my patient's mouth is right about here. I'm taking that degree of 20, finding my molar, it's right about here, raise my x-ray up, okay? My x-ray beam is an invisible beam. You will never see it. So you have to have a visualization. Pretend like the x-ray beam is water coming out of your water hose, okay? It, when a water comes out of the water hose, it comes out and sprays. So does your x-ray beam. So I have to visualize where is my beam going to go to get covering all my film and to cover all my um, molars. With this angle here, I've got it lined up. It should be covering the molars. My beam is coming out. Boom, it should get my shot. That's my molar shot. My bicuspid shot, I'm now going where? 20, 30. 30. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to 30. Now I'm going as far forward as I can with my x ray film and holder. Bite down. I want the cuspid distal in this shot. My film and my cone head have to go in the same direction or I'll have overlapping. If I'm coming at my angle like this, I'm gonna have overlapping. My contacts aren't open. And we learned that in our first mod about teeth and contacts. So my film is here, my x-ray head has to be here, not like this. My film is here, my x-ray head has to go like this. I'm at 30, find me a contact point. It's right here. My film is right there in this angle. So now I'm coming up. I'm at 30. I'm at 30. How's my beam coming out? 
that's coming out right over the film. Boom, hit my button, there's my shot. Okay. My angulation, now I'm going around towards the front of the mouth. I need to use the other end of my snap array. This is for my posterior teeth. This is for my anterior teeth, this section right here. So again, dot facing me, dot in the slot. Filming like such. This shot, I'm getting my cuspids. So I'm finding my cuspids right there. I'm putting the film right in the center of the cuspid. Bite down softly. I'm gonna have my patient hold this in place for me. Now, I'm at what? 20, I did. 30, I did. 45. So I've got a steeper angulation. Right about there. Put my x-ray head right in the center of that film. Coming up, coming up. How's my beam coming out? It's coming out. It should cover that whole film in Hua's mouth. Hit my button. There's my shot. Now I'm dropping back to 40. Going right up front, film in the same position, using a different film, but same location on the holder. Going right up front, open a little bit, open, 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 who? Is it stuck? Open. Right there, okay, in your hand, it's gonna hold that. Right up front, getting teeth number eight and nine. You should know eight and nine. Coming up, right over in between, eight and nine. Aim for that contact line. Raise it up, right over the nose. See where my beam is coming. I need to get the end of that film. My angulation's there, my film's there. It should all be in one shot. Walk away, hit the button. That goes back to 45 on the cuspid here. 30 on the bicuspids here, and 20 on the molars. Same angulation, just on the different side. Now if we go down to the lowers. I don't have a cool saw. I have 5, 10, 25, 20. The uppers make a better saw. Dot in the slot. I'm starting over here on my molars. Starting at a negative five, going to the negative side. I'm gonna put this right over my molars and bite down softly. My molars are right here. Bring it down. How's the angle of my film? My film's a little bit at a at a diagonal angle there. So coming up. I like using my hand under my patient's chin so I get the apex of the tooth. If it just rests right there, the chin and my cone head angle equally, I'm not gonna cut off my apex. Okay, I'm gonna go hit the button. Next shot is my bicuspid. New film, now I'm going at Now I'm going at 20. Okay, there's my film. There's my angle. Hit the button. Real similar. Okay, now I'm going to my cuspids. This one's tricky on the lowers. Patients get jabbed by the x-ray. <laughs> yes, or get jabbed by the film. Pinch it a little bit. Here's my cuspid right here. I gotta get it underneath my top. Bite down softly with your hand here. Hold that up. 
always tell my patients to hold it towards the ceiling. Now I am going to go to my angulation, line it up with the film. Last one, the centrals. Bring it back down. Under the tongue, hold it up. Right underneath my chin. You can see the angle of the x-ray head, the beams coming out. I'm gonna get the end of the x-ray right here and my apex down here should get everything in that shot and we'll show a picture of an x-ray like that okay repeat going back to the other side okay now we're going to do the bite wing bite wings are to show the maxillary and the mandibular in one shot just the contact points doctors working on a patient they want to see if there's decay in between the teeth this is how we get that shot. Place it right over the molars. Bite together. On this shot, it's usually between zero and five. Every face is different. Smile. Let me see the end of my tab there. It's right about there. I'm gonna raise it up, half on the maxillary, half on the mandibular. Hit my button, there's my shot. Get a new x-ray. Now I'm doing the bicuspid. Bite down. Still at the same angulation, between zero and five. Smile. I see my angle of my film is like this, so my cone head has to be like that. Line it up, raise it up. There's my shot. And you do it the same for the bicuspids and the molars on the other side. And open, and you should have your perfect FMX.